Who is Noman? John 3:13, And Noman hath ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man which is in heaven. Friends, can you guess what is wrong with this verse? And if Noman is no one or is no body, then how come could Noman be anyone? And if Noman is a man without a body, then Noman is no one without any body. Then how would we all be saved if no one is no body, who was concerned about the fall of humanity? And then who was the man who decided to come down from ease heaven? And who was the man that who was in actuality Elohim, whom was the man called E? And Aaman whom was the odd? That was the one whom was E, whom came down from ease heaven to redeem us, and to give to us the gift of everlasting life. And if Jesus was no man or if it was Shaitan who was no man. And whom is not Aaman whom is in ease heaven, then who was it that was the man whom had come down from ease heaven? Friends, it was Jesus. Because it was Elohim, whom was called Eluyah, the holy prophet whom was he, Christ. And it wasn't Jesus. And for sure Jesus is lying. Because no man is actually called Shaitan. And friends, I have rediscovered that the name Noman is a name for Satan whom is called God. And that also Noman is also a name for God. And Jesus, because he is Noman and he is not, Aaman. Whom is he, whom is he, whom is residing in ease heaven. Then Noman is a name for God. And Jesus. And because God is also known as Godreel. And God Godreel was the wicked one whose name is also called the serpent of old. And God Godreel was the one whom beguiled Eve. When he as Shaitan led her astray. So my friends, can you now see? That Jesus is the son of God whom is called Noman, and also God Godreel. And whom is called Shaitan and Shaitan and Satan. And whom is also called the serpent of old, from way back in the garden of Eden. And also from the time of Noah. And from the time when the sons of God got real, whom was known as Shaitan when they cohabited with the daughters of men. And their offspring were the giants. So as the Bible clearly says, that Jesus is also the son of God, whom we all now know was God real, whom was the serpent of old and the evil one. Whom is also known as Noman, the evil spirit. And throughout the Bible, you'll see that there's the name Noman. But unless you know that it means Shaitan, you wouldn't have guessed that it is a name for Satan or Jesus. And the Jesuits have kept this truth under wrap for years and even decades and even for eons. And they have misled us. And they have deceived us. By making us to believe that no man is no one. When no man is actually someone. And that's whom is no man, because no man is someone, and that someone is Shaitan. Whom is called God God and Shaitan and Ibli and Shaitan, and whom is God God real. And the serpent of old from the Garden of Eden. When his name was called the serpent and Noman and Shaitan, and whom was the cruel one that beguiled Eve and whom was the evil one called God and God real whom led her astray. And if Jesus says that he also is Noman, then Noman is also Jesus. And then Jesus is also evil because he is the son of Noman Shaitan. And that's why he is the devil. And in this instance I can think of the many times Judas Jesuit Jesus wasn't being included with Peter James and John, whom were selected by Eluhimi, to see his glory and the holy habitation of Eluhimi. When Peter, James, and John were privileged to see his glorious holy habitation. And when John was given the royal treatment and the holy invitation of being taken up into his holy new Jerusalem and whom also were just mere men, and whom were taken up into his holy habitation by, e Eluhimi, and whom was blessed by seeing the holy habitation of E, and also the holy city of e Eluhimi New Jerusalem, that is up in E's heavens when they were taken there by e Eluhimi, and when they saw Mose, whom was better known as Moses. My friends, and no time whatsoever did no man Shaitan whom is called God God and God real was ever able to enter into E's holy kingdom or into E's holy new Jerusalem. Because they are evil. And neither was Judas Jesuit Jesus was able to see E's holy habitation or E's holy city. The new Jerusalem, that John saw, 
which is ease. And which is all ease. And which is kingdom and also is holy habitation. And which is holy. And no sin whatsoever can enter in there. And no man shaitan or no man Jesus cannot enter in there. And so no one can enter in there, except they have been chosen by Eeluhimi. Or except if they have been invited by Eeluhimi. And they can only enter in there, if they have been redeemed by Eeluya. Whom is the sovereign king of Ease Olam? And also Ease Holy Kingdom. And friends, Jesus is here lying, for sure because he is an imposter. And the saying of Jesus are basically baseless. Because Jesus doesn't have the authority nor the oomph to materialize such miracles nor neither any such glorious works. And also all his sayings are basically baseless, and they are all baseless lies and blasphemies and they are incoherently vain babblings and they are also utter gibberish. And if Jesus is saying that he is no man whom came down from heaven, he is lying. And what about E. Enoch? Whom was translated up into E's heaven, when E the odd who is E? The sovereign one of heaven took him. When E took him up into E's heaven. And whom it is said that he never met his death. And also how about the holy prophet, Eluya? Whom E's E, whom went up into E's heaven, into a whirlwind of fire. And whom E's better known as Elijah, the prophet, in the times of Jezebel and Ahab. And did Jesus forgot about all these other people? And especially these two persons, E. Enoch and M. O. Z. E. And also about E. Eluya and Peter James and John, and also countless others, who all went up into E's heaven or whom were taken up in E's heaven by E. Eluhimi. And also all those whom came back to the earth after they were shown the kingdom of E. Eluhimi. And also how about the many other persons whom have claimed to have visited E's heaven? And when they come back, they were able to tell us about their personal experiences. Friends, can you see now that the Bible has been hijacked by the Jesuits and by Shaitan? And also by Jesus. And if Jesus is saying that he is no man, and that he is also no man, and that he is the Son of Man, or no man, then now you can understand what Jesus is saying. And that Jesus is clearly saying that he is no man whom is a devil. And also that God Godreal is also Nomen, because Nomen is also a name for Shaitan. Whom is a deceiver. And because we being made to believe that Jesus was born by the Holy Ghost. And that it is widely accepted that God is his Father. And that we all are inclined to believe him. But Shaitan is Nomen. And so my friends, if there's any inclination that Jesus is the Holy One, and that Jesus is he. Christ it is a lie and it is laughable and it is totally preposterous. Because Eeluya is Christ. But Jesus, he is the only son of God whom is also known to be called Nomen Shaitan. And because in the book of Genesis, the Bible says that the sons of God, that were in the time of Noah, that were very wicked. And this was in the dispensation before the antediluvian flood and when there was the deluge that annihilated the giants whom were before times known as the sons of God and whom also became to be called the Canaanites, and whom were the offspring of God Godreel, and whose father was also called Shaitan and Ibli and Shaitan and Satan and also God when the fallen ones, as it were written in the book of Enoch. When the son of God God Godreel whom it is believed fell down, and became the fallen ones, when they went into the daughters of men, and they corrupted, themselves and also ease creation. And they also ravished the women and they also killed East chosen people and also mankind. Here's the quote from Genesis 6-4, And then there were giants in the earth in those days. And also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, and the same became mighty men which were of old, and they were men of renown. So my friends, Jesus, isn't the only son of God, because there were sons of God even way back before Jesus' birth. And there were many other people, whom were the sons of God even way back before Jesus' time. So by Jesus' position that he was the only son of God is an equivocation. Friends, these are some of the many lies and blasphemies by Jesus that are all outright lies. 
and that are the many deception that are coming from out of the mouth of the deceiver Judas Jesus. Whom was to the devil or a serpent whom betrayed Elohim? And who was the one with the double tongue? And if Jesus is saying that he is the Son of Man, and the Son of God, and that God is his Father is the Holy One, whom is called Holy, he is also lying. Because Jesuits are claiming that Jesus was born of the Holy Ghost. And if so Jesus couldn't have being the Son of Man. Only if Jesus' father was Joseph. Or if Jesus' father was Shaitan who is also known as Noman. Because Judas was actually Jesus. And Jesus is Judas and Judas is Jesus whom is believe is the first son of Joseph. But the Jesuits are saying no. And Jesus is saying that he is the son of God. And whom it was prophesied that Judas Jesus would be the son of perdition and the possession of Shaitan and the son of God. And friends this means that Jesus was born under spurious circumstances. My friends, I could recall the story of Lot and his daughters, when it was in the time of the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah that it was believed that Lot was the one whom fathered children with his daughters. When he was in an incestuous relationship with his daughters, when Shaitan possessed Lot's daughters to conceive their children. And whose children became to be known as the Moabites and the Ammonites. Here is the story from the book of Genesis 1931, here is the quote. And no man, Shaitan came there and he said to them, Let me come in unto to you. And let me come in, and into you too. And then the firstborn said to the younger, let us let him come in, and enter into two of us because our father is very old. And so let us come on him and let him come on us. And we'll conceive like how when there is a man to come in us, and like after the manner of men that can not come on us, but can come in us. So that we can conceive after the manner of men that cannot come unto us and come in us. And so they let no men come into them. And they conceived that way, like when when the semen that can come out came into them. Friends, if Jesus was born in like fashion, then we can see how Shaitan could be his father. But in any case, this very well might be the case. When Miriam was married to Joseph, and whom was now very old, and Shaitan once again caused her to conceive, and whom was the evil spirit, and which could have been the reason why Jesus became the Son of God whom became his father, and whom was known to be called Shaitan. But it could have been that Joseph could have been Judas Jesuit Jesus' father. But for sure this was not the cause of the birth of E, Christ. Because it is said that he became E Eluya, and whom was the Holy One whom came down from E's heaven and was born king, because on the other hand E, is the Holy Spirit and E, E's the Holy Ghost, and E, He's the Sovereign One whom came down from his heaven to redeem his chosen people and also to save his people. And not necessarily, to the, the Canaanites because the Canaanites are the children of Satan and they are believed to be the sons of God whom is called Shaitan. So my friends, don't you let Jesus deceive you. Because the sayings of Jesus are mounting up to be, all but lies and blasphemies. And no man is actually a name for Shaitan. And no man is a title and also a description for someone whom is not a man but a devil or an evil spirit. Or one whom is without a body. And which is a description of Shaitan and Ibli and Shaitan and Satan and the devil or a description of a serpent or a snake. And also is a description for someone whom doesn't have a body. John 3.13, And if Shaitan is called no man, then Shaitan cannot ascend it up into ease heaven. Because Elohimi, Easy the Holy One, and no evil or sin can enter into Ease holy habitation which is Ease and which is holy. And because E Elohimi, Easy, whom is the Holy One. And also the sovereign king and ruler of Ease holy kingdom which is in Ease heaven. And E Eluya is E, whom is the sovereign king of all the heavens and the earth. Because only E, Ease the Holy One, and E Eluya, whom is called Holy E. And whom was E, Christ, and was E Eluya and E Eluhim, and E Aaman whom came down from E's heaven to save us, and to redeem us back to himself. And E, E's, the Odd and also the one whose sacred holy name is Odd. And whom is the sovereign king, whose glory resembles the sun, and whom was the holy sovereign one whom came down from E's heaven. 
and whom is presently residing in ease heaven, and whom is reigning from ease heaven in ease, earth friends, so now you see that Nomen is just a title for both Shaitan and Jesus. Whom are now the evil spirits, and the devil and also Shaitan. And they are now fugitives in ease world. And Jesus is nowadays being called the false prophet and also the Antichrist. And both God and Jesus are the son of perdition. And they are the evil spirits that are roaming the earth even today. Because many are not able to see them because they are also called gnomon, because they are like being that are at times invisible. Because they don't personally have a human body, because they are now just evil spirits, with a spiritual body that have being banished forever from the holy kingdom of Eluhimi. Thank you. Friends if you have being touched by my messages or if you have being blessed by E. Eluhimi, would you please consider on subscribing to my YouTube and also my Rumble channel. Thank you. And to learn more about E. and E. Eluya and E. Eluhimi and also about who is God and Judas Jesuit Jesus. Would you please follow the links below for more information. And for my message which is called, why was Jesus crying? Thank you. The end.